Well, the flatbed is officially back on. It'll only have to come off one last time after I uh, get the headache rack all tacked in place and it can be fully welded. Um, we will be able to actually weld it on. I still need to go get the steel to finish that. I'm gonna get some square tubing, probably three or four inch square tubing, run it up. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with the uh, headache rack. It's just gonna simply be a bar across the bottom, a bar across the top, and then a piece of that quarter inch steel behind it. Um, I am working on, I'll show you guys, I'll jump down here. Wiring up this trans cooler. Um, I did find out I want it to pull so I just hook it up blue wire to uh, 12 volts and then the black wire to a ground. And here's our thermostat that the uh, power wire will run through. And basically once it reaches 180 degrees, it's going to kick this fan on to cool the transmission down. If it ever kicks on, I don't know. It might, but that's a pretty big cooler. And there's not, I mean, the truck's not gonna be towing anything a lot. So it may just never get used, but it's hooked up in case it's there. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of hoses and, <clears throat> and wiring going on back here to the point where it's it's getting a little overwhelming trying to run stuff through. You guys can see right there, um, trying to, to figure out how to make everything so it's not going to rub and it, it's just getting a little overwhelming. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've now got three separate wiring harnesses that go to the back of this truck. It's There's a lot going on. I did order the light. You guys can see underneath it. Nice, pretty black. Um, I did order the light for the flatbed. I ordered uh, two circle ones. I'm going to put circle ones right here. They're clear LED. Um, they light up red, but they're, they look clear, so I figured that would be pretty cool. Um, those are on the way. <clears throat> I'm going to do a circle light, a circle light, and then up here in the headache rack and the, the piece that goes, um, that'd be the side pieces of the headache rack, I'm going to do an oval LED. And I'll hook both of them up as uh, turn signal, brake light. I mean, they're 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 both going to do everything. Um, I just didn't really want to go crazy with a bunch of lights on it because I'm just going for a clean, sleek look, and I don't need six oval lights on each side. Um, I did also order uh, clear uh, marker lights to go down the side, so those will be pretty nice. I think I'll probably do like three, three or four on each side, just so you can kind of. You know people can see where you're at on the road <clears throat> probably could have got away without putting them in but you get the point so we'll jump over here we got mason's truck it is getting there this whole side of the bed is pretty much ready to paint it just needs wet sanded uh this door is completely done it just needs wet sanded and painted this door is almost done he's been coming out and working on it a little bit and this bedside is pretty much done. There's that one dent we had here and we kind of need to go through and feather it a little more. There's a, a spot where you can kind of see it, but feather that out a little bit more and the bed's ready to spray. We are going to uh, bedline the, the bottom of the, um, we are gonna bedline, bedline the inside of the, of the bed, just black, probably roll it on and get a couple cans to spray it in there. <clears throat> but we'll probably have to do that after we paint the bed. So that's what you guys have to look forward to this weekend. Um, I'm tired of talking. Uh, hopefully I still have a lot of your guys' interest, but as for right now, I am hooking up a, another wiring harness under the hood for the fans. I was gonna run it into the AirDog wiring harness, but I was scared it was gonna pull too, uh, too many amps. So um, I am gonna go ahead and <clears throat> basically just run this on its own separate harness. And then I'm eventually gonna put like light bars and stuff on the back uh, for reverse lights or just little cubes. I'll show you guys. Okay, with the really dark window tint in the back, it is going to be quite hard to see if you need to back up at night. So I'm going to put these on the back of the truck, maybe try to hide them somewhere where you can't see them rather than making them like flush mount. I'm, I don't know. I may just use these on the front and get flush mount ones for the back so I can cut those out. But I'll be able to run this off of the um, uh, wiring harness for the um, fans. I'll just run a separate relay to the back and run a trigger wire to a toggle switch. But I kind of want to wait on doing that stuff, you know, the interior lights until the truck is completely ready to, uh, until I'm ready to, to start working on the interior. That's going to be the next step on this once we get all this done. Uh, I do want to do a uh, different um, seat. These are out of, I think, a 6.4 truck. They're power. 
they're hooked up and they work so i should be able to take some out of a uh like an 11 and up ford and bolt them right in and then i want to do a full center console in the truck so that should really make the interior and i'm going to put new carpet in it but that's later on guys so i'm not really going to get into a whole lot of that anytime soon but that's what you have to look forward to this truck is a mess right now it's covered in salt shouldn't have been driving it out on the roads but i just really really wanted to get you guys some footage of uh, the anteater and the truck finally being a, a running driving functioning automatic truck uh, for those of you guys that are new to the channel you know it was previously five speed so we swapped it over to a 47. That's enough talking. I hope you guys are ready to watch me do some more wiring because I'm not ready to do it. <laughs> Alright guys, we ended up having to jump in here on, on the inside fuse box and steal a, a, a fuse tap spot from this location. Um, I ran out of key on ignition sources under the hood, so um, this is what, what we got. I really hate doing this kind of stuff. I take that back. I don't, I don't want to come off like that. I don't hate doing this kind of stuff. I just really need to find like a custom... Um, like a custom relay box to run all this stuff too. I mean, I've just got wires and it just bugs me. I just got, I mean, it's not really that bad. It's done in a clean way, but there's a better way to do it. So, um, I mean, they're really, this is gonna be the last thing. Everything should, I should have enough power going everywhere with enough relays and stuff um, at this point, but um, any more and we're gonna do, like we're gonna rip it all off and do a custom relay box for my fans, my uh, fuel system, the lights we're gonna have on the flatbed, the light bars I wanna put on it. just. Um, yeah, I just, I don't like it how cluttered it is, but you get me, you get what I'm saying. and lots of electrical tape later we are completely wired up all the way to the back of the truck for the transmission cooler our lines are hooked up our thermostats hooked up everything is hooked up um, there's really nothing left to do with the transmission other than make a front drive shaft
finally got most of this salt washed off here. This thing needs a good deep cleaning and a good wet sand and buff. It's covered in oxidation. It really needs a good cleaning. That didn't really do much, but I was able to get most of the salt off of it. This paint looks so good on camera. If any of you guys ever see this in person, you're going to think I spray painted it. <laughs> no, it's not that bad, but I'm definitely not a professional. It's the best I could do, but who knows? Maybe one day we'll respray it when we get better. Did want to show you guys, we picked up this transmission jack. There is no more laying on our backs to do transmissions. Um, that's just, it, this was just kind of a necessity at this point. It seems like we're doing at least one a month, whether it's an R&R &R or it's one of our own and we actually go in and do stuff to it. Uh, so we did pick this up. It's a Harbor Freight Special. We have to order off their website. You cannot pick them up in the store. It's rated for 1,200 pounds. You simply just pump it up. Use your foot. It's got tilt both ways. And then to lower it down, you just hold this knob. So I already, well, obviously you guys know it needs to go down in the pit. Um, we don't have a lift, but that's where we can, you know, be standing up and work under something is, is in the pit. So I'll get that cleaned up real good and we'll stick that down in there. I also want to get a cart for the pit. So that way um, I'm no longer walking up and down the stairs 300 times to get tools. But also picked up this sweet Harbor Freight under hood light. I've only used it for maybe like two hours so far, but it works great. It came with uh, like a one year warranty for 10 bucks extra. So, I mean, for 50 bucks, you can't really beat it. And it's cordless, it lasts for seven hours. We'll see, it's probably more like two, but uh, basically these just uh, spin off here and then it's just magnets that stick to the hood. So Harbor Freight, pick that up. That'll be really nice rather than using uh, my grandfather's 40 year old you guys know what I'm talking about you've seen it in the videos the the light on the end of the ex here it is right here Yeah, this was just in, it's just in the way and you're fighting it more than it's good. So we did upgrade 